everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi mathematics, today we have really interesting exponential equation, x to the x equal to 25, and right now we can easily pause the video, you can easily try to solve this challenge by yourself, and we will check our answers here in just few minutes, so you can also write your solution down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check our answers. So we have x to the x equal to 25, and a lot of students say, okay mister, but 5 square equal to 25. Yeah, and I say, okay, 5 square equal to 25, everything, everything is great, but if you look closely, we have x to the x, so this is not x to the x, this is 5 to the second power, this is completely different base and completely different power, so I say, uh, the answer is completely different, so let's try to solve it. Okay, so we have x to the x equal to 25, and x is not equal to 5, x is not equal to 2, as you can see right here, so right now, let's try to solve it. First of all, I suggest you to apply a nature log on both sides, so we have nature log of the left side, nature log x to the power x equal to nature log 25. Okay, this is our first step, we just apply nature log on both on both sides. Right now, this x will come down right here, that's why we apply nature log on both sides. So let's do this, so we have x times nature log x equal to nature log, nature log 25. Really great, so as you can see after first step we have, we have this expression, but in this expression we can say 100% what is the correct answer. We need to know a really great uh, function, of thumb, uh, this function called Lambert W function. This function looks like that. When we have, for example, expression like a times e to the power a, when we apply Lambert W function from this expression, as a result we have, we have our a. Okay, and a lot of students don't understand this explanation because they want to see an example. Okay, let's do this. We have, for example, 3 times e to the power 3. When we have this type of expression, when we have the same expression right here and right here, as in this example a and a, when we plug in Lambert W function, as a result, we have our a, and a equal to equal to 3. So as a result, I hope you understand uh, this Lambert W function uh, step, okay? So when we have a times e to the power a, this is equal to a. When example, we have 3 e to the power 3, this is equal to equal to 3, okay? So this is about Lambert W function. But if you look closely, on the left side we don't have e, so we need to create this e right here. How can you do this? Instead of this x, let's write e to the power nature log x, okay? Instead of this x, let's write e to the power nature log x. This is absolutely the same expression because this is nature log base of e, and we can easily cancel this base and this nature log. As a result, we'll have our x, so it changed nothing for us, and times we have nature log x right here, equal to nature log, nature log 25. Okay, right now, let's change an order right here. We have multiplication, so we can change an order. This one goes to the second place, this one goes to the first right, because if you're talking about Lambert W function, in, in this general case, we have E on the second place, A on the first place, E to the, in the second place. So let's change right here positions. As a result, we have nature log x times E to the power nature log x equal to nature log, nature log 25. Really great. And right now, let's look closely. What do we have right here? We have absolutely the same expression right here, and with the power of e. So when we when we when we call this nature log x as, for example, a, this is also a. So as a result, we have a times e to the power a. Okay. And let's look closely. What do we have right here? When I when I explain this Lambert W function, we have a times e to the power a. When we have absolutely the same expression right here behind this e and at the power of e, we can easily apply Lambert W function. So let's apply this Lambert W function right here. As a result, we have Lambert W function of nature log x times e to the power nature log x. This is equal to Lambert W function. Don't forget about this because we need to apply this Lambert W function on the right side. Lambert W function of nature log, nature log 25. Which is, which is really great. And right now, when we apply in this Lambert W function, as a result, we have, we have our A. A is equal to nature log X, so on the left side, we have nature log X, which simplifies us a lot, which helps us a lot. So nature log X equal to, this is Lambert W function. Don't be scared about it. This is like a regular expression. This is a constant. This is also a constant. So don't be scared about this expression on the right side. So nature log 25 which is really great. Right now we need to find our x, we don't need this nature log x, we need to find our x. So there are a lot of approaches, but I'm going to show you this one. This is like the easiest one, we need to create base of e on both sides. When we create base of e on the left side, so e to the power nature log x on the left side, and we need to create the same base on the right side. So Lambert W function of nature log, nature log 25. Okay, right now if you look closely, e to the power nature log with the base of e gives us 
a useless one, okay? We are going to in the reverse way. In this case, we go into this expression, and right now we are going to, to our x, so which is absolutely great for us to have x on the left side, which is equal to this expression. Don't be scared about it, because this is like a constant. This is like a lambda w function of this expression is also a constant, so don't be scared about it. Lambda w function of nature log, nature log 25. Which is, which is really great, so it looks like a very answer, yeah? We have nature log 25, this is a constant, lambda w function of the constant, this is also a constant, and e is a constant when we raise this constant to this constant, as a result we have, we have a constant. So basically this is our answer, maybe someone interested in approximately answer, so x approximately equal 2.963, maybe someone interested in approximately answer, but I think if you have this question on your exam, you like don't allow to use your calculator, so this is enough for you to, this is like the final answer, but if you're interested in approximately answer, this is our approximately answer, so mm, 2 to the 2.963, to the power 2.963 equal to equal to we have in the beginning we have 25 you can easily check it but i don't need to check it because um, i i i think that this is a correct answer because i check it before yeah i checked it before the video i find it exactly uh, approximately answer for you so i think this is absolutely correct but if you don't trust me you can easily you can easily check this expression which is which is absolutely great i guess okay this is our final answer this is our approximate answer right now we can easily see a graph you can easily see a plot to this challenge you can easily see this point of intersection one point of intersection which is also really great i guess for everyone to to look at this in geometric perspective because a lot of students like to see this in a perspective of geometry which is really great because um, some students like to see this in a perspective of geometry this point of intersection two point of intersection it means two roots three point of intersection it means like three roots so i guess this is also also really great so let's write our final answer to this question so our final answer to this question if you're talking about exam x is equal to e to the power lambda w function of nature log nature log 25 this is your your final answer but if you're talking about maybe someone uh, watch this video and like don't like maths want to see the approximately answer because they don't know about lambda w function so x approximately equal to 2.96 2.963 this is also a really great really great solution so this is my explanation to this challenge i hope you understand this explanation i hope you learn something new because this is a very like interesting question in the perspective of math because uh, it includes like a great uh, nature log property a great i uh, think with the lambda w function so which is which is really great for you to practice and uh, this is where it took a question in the same way because in the beginning we had x to the power x equal to 25 and a lot of students say mm, like make this mistake because they say that 5 square equal to 25 uh, and they say that x equal to 5 or x equal to 2 somehow so they say that this is an absolutely correct thing they write that x equal to 5 or x equal to 2 and they they hurry up and they say that this is a correct answer but if you look closely this is absolutely incorrect it feels like we can create the, the, this expression on the left side with the base and with the power but it not works like that this is very bad solution like don't hurry up uh, slowly try to solve this challenge absolutely slowly and as you can see right here it's not that hard to be honest because this lambda w function is absolutely ready for us because we only create this x we write this x as e to the power nature log x so in one step only in one step we want we can easily apply lambda w function there are a lot of um, a lot of examples in mass where can we where we need to create this expression for lambda w function but right here we need only to write this x as e to the power nature log x and yeah, we can easily apply this lambda double function, which helps us a lot. Because as I told before, there are a lot of expressions, there are a lot of a lot of things. For example, we have like we have a question like that, for example, x square equal to 3 to the x. It's not work like that right here. In this case, we need to create lamb we need to create expression, good expression for lambda w function. And right here we will have like maybe five, six lines to create this function. In this case, as you can see really fast, we create this expression for lambda w function. So we have this expression right here. So I hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learned something new. I hope you understand my notes about it. If you have your notes, you can easily write your notes down into the comment section, write your response down into the comment section it will be really interesting to exchange information maybe you have your own solution your own fast masses your own nose maybe right here i have 
a bad step right here, maybe a bad trick. So try to, to write it, your notes down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to exchange information. It will be really great to see your response down into the comment section. Doesn't matter, you're a teacher, you're a student. It will be also really great, really grateful to see your response down into the comment section. Thank you for your time. Wish you all the best in your life. Wish you all the best. Love math and take care of yourself. Also, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. I try to make videos every day. So right now on my channel, I have a like more than 200 videos i try my best i try to improve my content i try to improve the questions olympiad questions so we hope you will enjoy it thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos and take care